Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Chef Ave and I am the Buttercream Diva. Today we are making Inipit. Yes, that lovely dessert that you remember from childhood. I would say that, you know, like because of the long time that has passed, desserts like this that are a little tedious to make have been disappearing. People just want, you know, the desserts that you can just put together in minutes and then you're done. But there is something really special about desserts that, you know, take a little more time to make. So today I will teach you how to make inipit and that lovely caramel that's in the middle. Yep, soft. Soft sponge and <laughs> luscious caramel <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Let's do it! are your ingredients for your inipit. First, you have the ingredients for your custard. And then you have the ingredients for your meringue. And then you have your ingredients for your cake. So that's a total of three sets of ingredients. For your custard or yema filling, you will need two egg yolks, one cup of condensed milk, and one half teaspoon of Kikoman soy sauce. Two tablespoons of butter. Write them down. For your meringue, you will need four large egg whites or the egg whites of four large eggs, one fourth teaspoon of cream of tartar, and one fourth cup of white granulated sugar. Now, now for your cake, let's um, do the wet ingredients first. You have here one fourth cup of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of pure vanilla, one third cup of tap water or mineral water, just plain water, four egg yolks, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and one and one half tablespoons of baking powder. Just mix them all in one bowl. Do not forget to sift your uh, flour. I think I missed the flour earlier. It's um, the amount of flour that you need is one cup of cake flour. So if you don't have cake flour, just use one cup of all-purpose flour. Remove one tablespoon and replace it with one tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay, so just mix it until it comes together or it is well combined. Now set it aside. And we will now mix our wet ingredients. Your egg yolks. Water. Vegetable oil and vanilla. Now, if you want a little bit of flavor, you can add a few drops of lemon, orange, or almond extract. It's up to you if you want to add flavor. I like it as it is with just vanilla. This is like the original mixture or the original flavor of the inipi. So we just added the wet the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and we will just whisk this until it becomes nice and smooth. Now, the secret of 
making great uh, sponge is not to over mix anything. So as soon as this comes together, you stop. We now make our marang. First, you put your egg whites and you whisk it on medium speed until you break down all of like the gelatinous material that you see on your egg. As soon as it gets a little frothy, then it's already good. Now we will add our cream of tartar. And mix it on high speed until you get a nice pale consistency or pale white color. Okay, at this point, we will start to add our white sugar. As you can see, it's already pale white, but it's not really stark white yet. Add your sugar slowly. C4 is steep. So how do you know that you already have that? Make sure everything is in there. That's why we do this manually because some of the egg whites get pushed to the side during mixing. So this is just to spread it out evenly. So there. See, it's not moving means it's stiff so th this is this is the peak that you want okay there and okay, we're gonna move back to the table I'll mix it. so unlike your other morale mixtures this one we will use a whisk okay but we will Gently whisk it together while we are adding our flour mixture. Since this is not a very thick mixture, you can easily get it into your morale. Do not mix vigorously, just let it come together. Okay. As soon as you see that there are no streaks of color in it, and then it's good. You don't need to do the figure eight for this. Thumbs together, it's done. Okay, now we are going to grease our pan. We are using here our cake release formula. You can find the recipe for this in this channel. Just search my videos and you will find it. It's a cake release formula that we always use it's very practical very easy to make just three ingredients okay so just brush it 
on the bottom and the sides but do not put too much okay just enough to cover our put a thin layer on your pan just a thin layer This is so effective. Believe me. All right, now we're now we're going to pour our batter. We have two pans, and we will have one pan filled with about three fourths of the way. You don't want your inipit to be too thick. So we're using a 10 by 10 pan. If you want a thinner inipit, then you can use an 11 by 11 pan. If you want really equal um, layers for your inipit, then weigh your batter. You know, if you have 700 grams of batter, then just divide it into two, 350 in each pan. So just make sure you have equal size for the two pans. 